Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Welcome to the Open Data Transformation. Uh, I'm really excited to report that the Open Data Transformation features four free coffee stations. Y'all have some. Uh, with coffee taken care of, I want to remind all of you why we're here. Uh, it's because open data can transform our government. But open data won't happen without policy change. Our government won't consistently standardize or publish its data unless the laws and regulations enable it to do so, and in some cases require it to do so. Most policymakers, both parties, every prominent politician support the abstract talking point of transparency. Most policymakers, both parties, every prominent politician say that government should be data driven and results oriented. Most policymakers, both parties, every prominent politician point to the US tech sector as the source of the creativity and energy that'll help government fix itself and solve tough problems. But despite those buzzwords, unless we change the laws to help make open data somebody's job, open data will not happen. Two years ago, in March 2012, Teradata became the founding member of a new trade association. Washington is full of trade associations, but we like to believe that the Data Transparency Coalition is different. One aspect in which we're not different is that we should all take off of our lanyards uh, before we speak. <laughs> we like to believe the Data Transparency Coalition is unique. Uh, throughout our growth, our mission has stayed consistent, uh, maybe even single-minded. On behalf of the private sector and the public interest, we advocate the publication of government information as standardized, machine-readable, open data. We believe that basic shift from disconnected documents to open data will transform our government and society. Open data enables better management tools for government leaders. Open data allows our member companies to automate compliance tasks and replace layers of lawyers with lines of code and open data enables accountability for all. Now we started in 2012 with a single corporate member. This week, three round stones became our 27th corporate member. We started in 2012 with one primary policy goal, persuade Congress to pass the Data Act, transforming federal spending from disconnected documents into open data, and persuade President Obama to sign it. A few months ago, the House passed the Data Act unanimously, the Senate passed the Data Act unanimously, and the President signed it. Now, federal spending is a good example of the need for policy change if the open data transformation is going to occur. For instance, can you believe that today, federal agencies report the way that they spend taxpayers' funds in at least five different ways? Accounting, budgets, grants, contracts, payment requests, each of those reporting streams is submitted to a different place at Treasury, the White House, or GSA. Each of those reporting streams is formatted differently, and there's no way to assemble all those pieces of information to get a government-wide and enterprise-wide view of spending. It has never been somebody's job to take this whole corpus and make sense of it. The Data Act changes that. The Data Act puts the Treasury Department and the White House OMB in charge of setting up government-wide data standards for federal spending and then publishing the whole thing online. For the first time, open data, at least within federal spending, is somebody's job. In a few minutes in this room, the Treasury and White House executives who are implementing the Data Act and transforming federal spending into open data are going to describe their vision. In other areas, Outside federal spending, the laws still have to change to make open data happen. Think about our financial laws for a minute. Sorry. If you've ever had the misfortune to read them, you will know that they were mostly written in the 1930s. The Securities Act, the Securities Exchange Act, the Commodity Act, the Banking Act, they all require public companies, financial firms, and banks to report to federal agencies, but all of these laws assume that this reporting takes the form of paper documents not machine-readable data, because that was the technology in the 1930s. In U.S. financial regulation, just like in federal spending pre-Data Act, it's nobody's job to transform all these reports from disconnected documents into open data. And it's nobody's job to publish the whole thing. 
In fact, if anything, in financial regulation, policy is moving in the wrong direction. Two weeks ago, the House passed a law that requires the SEC to stop using open data and regress to documents. Today, in this room, leaders from the SEC, the FDIC, the Treasury, and Congress are going to explain the need for policymakers to embrace open data instead of documents for financial regulatory reporting. And for our coalition, that's one of the next policy challenges. Today, we will end up focusing on the open data transformation in two distinct areas, federal spending and financial regulation. But we certainly believe that other areas of the government's information portfolio need transformation, too. And as our coalition continues to grow, we will have the opportunity to confront those. The people who are going to make these transformations happen are most likely right here in this room today. So meet each other. If you aren't convinced of the value of open data to create new business opportunities, take a walk next door during the break, visit our exhibitors, discover that our coalition members can create new platforms for democratic accountability, they can deploy analytics to stop waste and fraud, they can automate compliance by creating a TurboTax for everything, no endorsement of TurboTax intended, and they can use government data to innovate in ways that we probably haven't even thought of yet. The companies that you will meet today next door over there are the beginning of a new open data industry. It's not an industry reliant on the implementation of a mandate. It's an industry that creates new value. Be sure to meet them. So here's what to expect today. Our half hour long panels are going to be fast paced and pithy. Our staff and our volunteers are highly caffeinated, highly enthusiastic. Feel free to ask them for help. Our breakout sessions this afternoon will be hosted by the people who are actually in charge of the data standards that they're talking about. Christina Ho for financial reporting, Deborah Sonderman and Amy Hazeltine for grant and contract reporting, Matt Reed for financial regulatory reporting. Here's what else you can expect today. You can expect restrooms if you walk out that way and turn left. You can expect Wi-Fi if you enter the password, DT2014. You can expect our iOS app if you search for data transparency on the App Store. Uh, if you and your company, or if you or your company, are here in this beautiful ballroom drinking this beautiful coffee for free, uh, please take a minute to thank our sponsors. Our presenting sponsor were Kiva, our four partner sponsors, Teradata, PwC, Streamlink Software, Booz Allen Hamilton, and our other generous sponsors are those who made it possible for us to bring together the people who are leading the open data transformation. Were Kiva, our presenting sponsor, is one of the companies that I mentioned that will use open data standards to make compliance an automatic process instead of a manual burden. I'm excited to introduce our board member, Mike Starr of Workiva, who is going to kick off our program after a short video. There's never been a greater demand for transparent information. Regulation is increasing. Data volumes are doubling every 18 months, and deadlines are shrinking. Executives have to make quick decisions, and that's when WDesk becomes mission critical. With WDesk, complex business reporting has never been easier. Throughout my professional career, from entry-level accountant to chief financial officer, creating complex business reports has been a needlessly manual process. We had a very cumbersome, time-consuming process, but no one really had a better way to do it. After we saw the demo, I could see the benefit right away. WDesk has transformed the way companies collect and report complex data. It combines documents, spreadsheets, and presentations into one place that links all the data together. I used to have people who would spend hours just rolling forward a document, uh, checking a document, making sure that all the numbers were correct. Now it's all linked to a main worksheet, and we just need to check that once. Because it's so flexible, IT resources are not required. WDesk gives our customers more control and accuracy. It's a disruptive technology because it's changing how people work. Good morning. Good morning. You can do better than that, can't you? Good morning. Good morning. Ah, that's better. On behalf of Matt Rosier, CEO, and my colleagues at 
Workiva, welcome to Data Transparency 2014. Abraham Lincoln said, let the people know the facts and the country will be safe. That statement captures the very essence of the Data Transparency Coalition's mission. Today, Hudson and his team have put together a program that I think you will find informative and inspirational. And I ask that you listen carefully about how the federal government is moving from static paper documents to dynamic data reporting. And I hope at the end of this conference, you'll be inspired to join us as we foster that movement. Again, welcome, and I hope you have a good conference.